Yo, what is going on guys? It is Kobe back here with some more Battlefield 4 and today the China Rising expansion came out uh, It is absolutely massive. It's pretty awesome now. Uh, it's only out for premium members uh, just to make that clear But uh, I thought I'd tell you guys exactly what you get so for you guys that don't have premium or are deciding whether or not it's worth it uh, Maybe I can help you out with that So uh, what do you get with this China Rising expansion pack? So uh, first you get four new multiplayer maps all taking place across China, of course, and those maps are, excuse my pronunciation, but they are uh, Tak, Lamakin, Altai Range, Guilin Peaks, uh, I probably butchered that, and Dragon Pass. So that right there is awesome. It's only like, what, a month into the game, and we already got four new maps. Um, so, you know, that really speaks volumes to how EA, you know, supports the game, puts out new content to uh, increase its lifespan. But uh, that's not even close to everything we're going to get. So next, we get five new weapons. We get the L85A2 Assault Rifle, the MP7 Personal Defense Weapon, or PDW for short, the RPK-74 Light Machine Gun, the L96A1 Sniper Rifle, and the MTAR-21 Carbine. So uh, there you go, four new maps, five new weapons, but that still isn't all that we get. Uh, we also get the Dirt Bike that we got from Battlefield 3 Endgame Expansion Pack, I want to say. So uh, that's really awesome, that was a lot of fun for like capture the flag and uh, things like that. Also we get an all new bomber that can be deployed if you take control of the map's control center. So uh, that sounds really interesting as well, I haven't done that yet. Um, there's also a new game mode for you guys that are into air combat called air superiority which is really cool. It's basically like a game mode dedicated to dog fights and like helicopter combat and uh, stuff like that. So if you aren't all that great at manning aircraft, this uh, might help you get your skills up a little bit. Now the last couple things we got are two new gadgets, one is the unmanned combat aerial vehicle for uh, the support class and uh, a smaller version for the recon class. And uh, lastly 10 new assignments each having their own unlock as well so that is pretty cool. So um, do I think this is worth it? Well yeah obviously I do, I play a lot of Battlefield so I'm going to be getting the expansion packs anyways so why not just pay for premium and uh, not only get all the new maps, weapons, game modes and everything else but you also get it two weeks earlier. So uh, basically, if you are planning on getting these new maps, why not just get premium and you can start playing this new expansion pack right now today. But uh, if you guys have any other questions about premium or this new DLC bundle, leave your questions down below and uh, I'll try to answer all of them. I may do a video you know, more in depth about premium and all the different in-game events and uh, everything else that you, know, you can get access to. But regardless, you'll definitely be seeing more China Rising expansion pack gameplay throughout the week. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smack that like button for me. Also, subscribe if you are new uh, to stay up to date with all my new videos that are be coming out. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.